Camera Girl here from MyFoodChannel.com and today we're going to make an easy berry pie. We've let some frozen berries thaw. Now this is some of our favorite frozen berries, but you can use any kind of berries you want. But with frozen berries, you do want to leave them out and drain them. You can also use the microwave, but you do not want to overcook them in the microwave. That's why I prefer to just start this a little bit early, let these thaw. The other thing we're doing, we are using frozen pie crust. One of them we took out when we took out the berries because it's going to be the top and we'll get back to that. So those are two things that we did before we started the camera besides preheating our oven. Watch how fast this comes together. We take the berries that are drained, just going to put them in a bowl. We're just going to add a little bit of sugar, even though these are sweet. And we're going to add just a little bit of flour. And you're just going to mix this together. This is your filling. Now you'll notice I'm making a rookie mistake. I am not wearing an apron. You might want to realize you could get berries on things. So there's your filling right there. My other pie crust is still frozen. So let me pull that out. So we've got second pie crust. It's rather convenient. There were two in here. And these are deep dish. What's also great, you do not have to pre-bake this for a few minutes. We're just going to put this together pretty quickly and get it in the oven. Now again, we have deep dish, and if your bottom pie crust is too full, then it's easy for it to bubble over while it's cooking. You don't want it to look skimpy, and Lord knows the crust adds a great compliment to your berries. Now I've got a little cup of water. And because we're going to meld two pie crusts together, wet your bottom crust. This other frozen crust that's been sitting around, get it over here and come across. The nice thing is you've got your little bowl of water. If for some reason it wants to crack and doesn't want to come out very easily, water helps the pie crust come back together. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. What is happening under the tin stays under the tin. I don't know. Anyway, we got a little extra. And you go, oh, it's indented. That doesn't look nice and full. Well, you can put more berries. You can make one and a half recipes. As I say, I prefer to make sure it's not going to make a whole hot mess. Sometimes you got to play with it just a little bit so you don't have quite as much overlap. But the other important thing, even though this is easy, and I'll see that we've got a couple of cracks. We're just going to wet it just a little bit, but you can sort of seal a couple of little pieces. But most important, you do need to vent the top. If nothing else, you can just do this. But the bottom line is, you've got to let those berries, when they're releasing their moisture, there's got to be a way to release that steam. Well, I'm going to give it a big vent if I can. And some people do this before they put it on the pie. You can do anything you want. You can also do lattice work. Now we're just going to put a little more water on the outside. And then I'm going to just take a fork and just sort of seal them together just a little bit. I'm not trying to make it look perfect, but you know, doesn't this make it look just a little more homemade? It looks now like you've made a homemade crust because it's a little wonky. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to the top. I'm just doing this because I am going to sprinkle just a little bit of sugar on the top. So we've wet it with a little bit of water, and so now I'm just going to sprinkle. Obviously, we're not trying to be extremely healthy with this recipe. We're almost ready to put it in the oven, but it is very hard for all parts of your pie crust to cook evenly. And sometimes people will tell you, Put it in the oven, and when the pieces start to brown, cover the edges. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to make a pie crust shield out of aluminum foil. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off for the last 10 minutes of cooking, rather than peeking and making sure things aren't too brown, and then putting some aluminum foil. All right, let's get it in the oven. But you want to know what that's for? Well, let me show you. You remember that little star? Why do you want to waste that crust? We're going to cook it. Now that's going to come out earlier. So I love it that you don't have to pre-cook the pie crust a little bit. So 
So we got our pie in the preheated oven, lickety split. So the worst part now is we gotta wait. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, look how pretty. Where's your star? If you put little pieces of pie crust in, remember and set a timer because the pie versus the little pieces of pie crust don't cook at the same rate. This has been in the oven for 30 minutes. See how it's, you know, the higher parts are starting to already brown. That's fantastic. So we're going to just be careful, but just take off the foil. You don't want to leave any little pieces. And then we're going to put it back in the oven. So see, it's already looking beautiful. You see how if I just had the small little vents, you're going to need to make sure you sort of widen them a little bit. I wasn't as concerned because I had the star in the middle, but the berries need to be, steam must be allowed to escape. But we want to put it back in the oven long enough to let that pie crust just crisp up just a little bit more. I know, we got to wait some more. Beep, 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 beep. Once you've got the foil off the edges, don't go get involved in another project. You see all of that berry goodness bubbling up? And it was simple. It looks all fancy and the yeah. flavor is going to be fantastic. Yeah, but it looks picture perfect. So now in a few minutes, we'll just dig in. Uh, no. You notice we didn't put a lot of cornstarch. We didn't put a lot of gunk in it. But in order for it to be set at all, you need to leave it three or four hours. No, that is not. <laughs> so the pie has been cooling for four hours. You don't want to cut it right when it comes out of the oven or soon after, not while it's hot at all because it's berries. So you'll just have an ocean of berry running away from your pie. So if we wait it patiently. Camera Girl did all the work. And now I'm going to do the hardest part. Do it like this here. I'll just get cut it in half because we're gonna end up eating three slices right now. The first piece is the hardest one to get out of here That's right. without mucking up. So mine will probably be the least attractive, but let's see. Oh, looks like I did a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. See how perfecto that looks? Wow. And look at this here. You got no juice or anything in there. It's just nice, firm pie filling. And it's not overly full. You know, it's just, it's not like an inch of pie filling, it's like a half an inch. Now, if you want to, you can put more pie filling in here if you want, but the key to a delicious berry pie is making sure you have the ratio of crust to filling. If you want to now, you can heat it up without it running all over everything. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Oh, that's a chef buck bite. Good gravy. Since uh, Camera Girls put this uh, ice cream out here, I might as well have a little bit of that. What, where did that come from? If you want to check out the recipe, go over to myfoodchannel.com. Till next time. Bye-bye. Okay, now, now put the pie in your face so that we know you ate something. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>